Former House Oversight Chairman, Committee Chairman, and Fox News contributor Trey Gowdy, good evening to you, sir. Good to see you this evening. Yes, so what was your reaction to that? I mean, that, that, that's an ugly exchange. It's not the kind of thing that you see often on Capitol Hill. What do you think? Uh, well, the process is unprecedented. Uh, we had a lot of bad days the eight years I was there. We never had a day where we all asked a chairman to step down. The substance is what really caught my attention, Martha. There's only one campaign that took negative information from Russia. There's only one campaign that actually paid for that information. Remember in the Barr letter, the, the summary that Barr sent, despite multiple opportunities, no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. And yet Fusion GPS and the Clinton campaign was actually spending money to dig up Russian dirt on Trump. And for Adam to, I've never heard him address that. I've heard him talk about the Trump Tower meeting where nothing happened, but I've never, in fact, he went to court to keep us from finding out about Fusion GPS. So I think he'd be taken a little bit more seriously if every once in a while he acknowledged the only campaign that took information from Russia was the campaign he supported. All right, so, so now to the report itself, which we're learning is over 300 pages. There's all kinds of estimates, but it's, it's a lengthy report. When you look at other reports, the Star Report, it's sort of in line with what we have seen in the past, though. But a lot's being made of the size of this document. What do you think? Honestly, I thought it was kind of short. Uh, the report yeah, so did I. The, the Two years, 300 pages? I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm reading Crime and Punishment right now. I wish it were only 300 pages. <laughs> it's like 1,000 pages. I thought, given the amount of time, the witnesses they interviewed, the search warrants, mm -hmm. the subpoenas, I expected something longer. Uh, it, perhaps the collusion section is not that long, and then the what Russia did to us as a country is longer, but I expected it to be longer. And what about the release of the report? Because, you know, Jerome Nadler asked for it, the chairman of the committee. Uh, he wanted it by April 2nd. He said that was a hard deadline. He had, a, I guess, about a 10-minute conversation with the Attorney General, Bill Barr, who said it may take longer than that. What about the time frame? Yeah, I, I actually, you know, <laughs> Mueller and Barr, what the Democrats are asking Mueller and Barr to do is actually to break the law. They cannot disseminate grand jury material. They cannot disseminate classified information. Imagine how much sources and methods and otherwise classified information is in the Mueller report. If he did a good job, and I suspect he did, it is chock full of classified information. So you got to scrub it. You got to scrub the grand jury material. I'm in a really small group of people that actually doesn't think the report should be made public because the Department of Justice is a true false agency. You either indict or you do not indict. But you don't do oppo research and then turn it over to someone like Adam Schiff, which is all he wants. He just wants any kernel of negative information about President Trump so he can use it in 2020. So you have talked about the fact that you would like to see uh, some investigation. There are ongoing investigations um, into what happened on the other side of the equation, how this whole thing got started, how they had the FISA applications go through. Here is an exchange between you and the former CIA director, John Brennan, back in May of 2017 with regard to the Steele dossier. Watch. Do you know whether any of the uh, underlying allegations made in the Steele dossier were ever, ever tested, probed, examined, cross-examined? There were efforts made by the Bureau to try to understand whether or not any of the information in that uh, was uh, valid, but I, I just I don't have any first-hand knowledge of it. Do you know if the Bureau ever relied on the Steele dossier as, any, as part of any court filings? I have no awareness. Looking back at that now, um, and also in light of John Brennan's voluminous statements that he was sure that there were indictments coming down, he said that as late as, May, as March 8th, um, and now he says that maybe he got bad information. What do you think? Maybe. Um, maybe he put out bad information. Maybe he's the reason that the dossier was included in the intelligence community's assessment and in late 2016, early 27, that, that was ultimately leaked and, and, and spawned this. I mean, I had to be cryptic there because it was not publicly known that there was a FISA. Now the whole world knows there was a FISA. And what the whole world, I hope, will someday learn is the FBI had made no efforts to corroborate or vet the information even as late as December of 2017, well after it had been used in the FISA, and the FBI still had made no effort. So... You know, Brennan, 
<laughs> Brennan's animosity towards the president is so manifest, so is Comey's right now. But, but to think that this guy was running an intelligence agency with the amount of animus he has towards President Trump um, is sobering. Uh, Judge Napolitano was on earlier today, and he said, he said this. Let's play it, and I'll get a quick response for you, and then we've got to go. I think that Congressman Schiff is correct. In that report will be evidence of the existence of a conspiracy. In that report will be evidence of obstruction of justice, interfering with an FBI investigation for a, a personal gain, but not enough evidence to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you agree with that? I don't know, and, I, and the, I hope Judge Napolitano also said, and the reason that law enforcement agencies don't release reports is for that very reason. If you're not going to charge them, I mean, mm -hmm. imagine if every law enforcement agency said, look, we didn't have enough information to charge you, That's but we're going to go disseminate all the negative stuff we learn. We don't do that in this country. You're presumed innocent. Mm -hmm. If you want to remove that presumption of innocence, take them to court. Don't release a report. Trey Gowdy, thank you very much, sir. Good to see you tonight.